so let's play a little bit with color genetics. We got some questions. How do you know what the babies are going to come out like? Well, I know a little bit about genetics, so let's do a little color genetics. <clears throat> this, what you're looking at right here, is Hyacinth, and she is the color of a wild parakeet. Basic green, she's got the yellow on her face, the black on her wings. That's what they look like flying around Australia. <clears throat> she's an English budgie, and they don't, they're not as big as she is, but the coloration is the natural coloration of an English budgie. That's what they look like in the wild. That is dominant. So when you breed her to pretty much any other color combination, most of the babies are going to come out looking like her because she has all the dominant characteristics. Okay, the next, um, all right, so she is a, let's call a yellow base bird. Um, she's basically a yellow bird with some color laid on top of it. Um, a white base bird, like blue here, um, he's a white bird with color laid on top of it. So back in, um, you know, uh, preschool and kindergarten when you're playing with rainbow colors and stuff like that, what do you get when you mix yellow and blue? You get green. So basically, these are the same bird with the same coloring, only she has a yellow base, so her blue coloring ends up looking green. And he has a white base, so his blue coloring stays blue. Okay? So, that's the two basics. The, the, the base colors are yellow and white. So, for instance, when you have a Lutino, this is Sunny. She, a Lutino, an Eno, the other version of a Lutino, the white version, is an albino. She has pink eyes, and what that means is that all of her color is gone, except for the base color, which in her is yellow. Um, an albino is exactly the same thing as, an al as a lutino, only they're pure white. Like, kind of like her. She doesn't happen to be... Where did she go? She doesn't happen to be an albino, but she is pure white. So that is a white base bird. That's a yellow base bird. And the colors that you get on top of that are either green or blue. If you take a green bird and you cross it to a blue bird, because green is the original wild color, all the babies will come out green because it's dominant. Um, if you take a blue bird and breed it to another blue bird, you get all blue babies because they can't be, they're recessive, so they can't be split. Um, okay, so with that basis, you either have a yellow based green bird or white based blue bird. There is a yellow based green bird. There's a yellow based green bird and oh what's that? That's a white based bird but she's not blue. She's gray. So that's the third coloration that can come up is instead of being um, uh, green or blue they can be gray and gray is dominant over both green and blue. So as you can see, she's a white base bird, so she would be blue, but she has a gray factor, so she's gray instead. <clears throat> um, this down here, this little girl over here, is a gray green. She is gray, but she has a yellow base instead of a white base. So her, her boyfriend here has a white base gray, and she's a yellow base gray, or gray green. So basically they're the same color, they just have two different bases. And so, so the gray green, she's a very light gray green. They usually end up looking a little more olive colored than that, <clears throat> a little more gray, but uh, you get the picture, okay? So again, we got a white base and a yellow base and everything grows out of that, okay? Um, so here's your little chart, right? Let me back out of this a little bit. See a little chart here, okay? Can you see that? A white ba yellow base is dominant. White base is recessive. A yellow base gives you a green bird. A white base gives you a blue bird. And if the gray factor is involved, it will cover over both green or blue. And you'll get a gray green or a straight gray if it has a white base. <clears throat> so there's other things involved here in color, but that's the basics of color. And since we know what's dominant and what isn't, <clears throat> we can look at them and say, okay, she's gray, gray is dominant over green. <clears throat> she's white based, she's yellow based. Yellow based is dominant over white based. So most of the babies will end up with his yellow base, 
and her gray. So we're going to get a lot of gray greens out of this couple. Unless they're split for other things. And the only way to find out if they're split for other things is if you breed them and see what the babies come out like. They could both be split for blue. In which case, we'll get blue babies, some blue babies out of them. They, um, she could be split for green. In which case, we'll get a bunch of green babies out of them. But if neither of them were split for anything, we would end up with yellow-based babies that are gray. Um, I'm betting that they're split for lots of things, so, but we'll find out when it happens. Okay, this couple over here, oh, she just ducked back in the box. That's Sprite, and his lady is Fluffy, and she's green based, she's yellow based green, just like him. So, uh, you'd think, okay, all the babies are going to come out yellow based and green, unless they're both split to blue, in which case we would get a blue baby every now and then. Oh, there she is. She's... She's cleaning the, oh, she's cleaning the shavings out. She says, I don't want the shavings. This is not what I like. So, um, so it's base. it's very basic, um, genetics, like this pair right here. Um, now she's an Eno, an, a, a Lutino, and that is recessive. So we're very unlikely to get any Lutino or Albano babies out of these two, unless he has Albino hidden in there somewhere. But what we will get is yellow-based babies, so his blue is going to go away, um, unless she's split to white, in which case we'll get some blue babies too. But the yellow takes dominance over the white base, so we're going to end up with yellow-based babies, which means they'll be green instead of blue, okay, unless she's split. All right. Um, so just to complicate things a little bit, Right here, we have Blue and Fancy. Fancy, look, she has a yellow face, right? It's yellow-ish. Well, it's kind of hard to see, this light isn't really helping. But she has a yellow face, but she's blue. So how does that work? She is a white base fudgy with what's called a yellow face um, color pattern. So she is him, just like him, only she got an extra gene that says, your face will be yellow. And she's a little bit turquoise as well. It's very subtle, but it's different than being a yellow-based bird. So that's why she's white. But if you really, I mean, that's why she's got a yellow face. But if you really look at the two of them, you might see that she's a little bit aqua-colored. She's not quite straight blue like he is. So that light, that little buttercup yellow that she's got going um, does influence her color a little bit. I wish I could get a better shot. Can you see her yellow there? Okay, so that's basic um, bird color genetics. Well, there's two yellow-based birds that are going to throw a whole bunch of green babies. Um, and uh, this couple down here are two white-based birds that are going to throw a whole bunch of blue babies. She's pure white. He's, um... Oh, look at her. Might be time to make some, lay some Magsmas things. Okay, so that's uh, lesson number one for color genetics.